the uh, channel. Yes. A lot of believers. Okay, we're here at Camp Miller. Camp Miller in Pensacola, North Carolina. And this place is run like a tight ship. It's amazing. It is a military operation with all kinds of people just coming in and working together. And this is the first, this is the front line right here. And you are doing an amazing job. What's your first name? Scott. Scott, God bless you, Scott. Do you need to direct him anywhere? That's amazing. All right, Scott. When I first came in, you guys, Scott's like, God bless you. And I'm like, no, God bless you. <laughs> so tell us tell us what, what brought you here. Um, from Jacksonville, Florida. And um, God just, we were doing a men's retreat, which the hurricane came in the midst of our planning. And God just said, let's make it a men's mission trip. Oh so we've been here uh, mucking out houses. And uh, now I'm the, the front gatekeeper, which is the most amazing job because I get to talk to everybody that comes through the gate. It, and... You're perfect for it. You're absolutely perfect. You were mucking out houses. That's yes. such hard work. Yes. I but, know that was uh, heartbreaking for you too. But bless you guys and I have a car coming Thank in. you. So I'm going to get out of your way. So <laughs> thank you so yeah, much. You, I'll see you in just a little bit. Okay. So we've been given permission to take a tour. Uh, people uh, who are volunteering are staying here and I'm going to tell you this is the most immaculate setup I've ever seen in my life. You've got men's and women's porta potties with the sinks and sanitation. Um, they've got a uh, pantry, kind of like what we were doing with the, uh, the people's convoy out in California. They've got a full pantry. And picnic tables in case it rains. What a setup. All their condiments. And these gals are running this kitchen like amazing. 120 pounds of deer, right? A ground deer, which was donated. And she sat here and she was she was uh, cooking it up right here on the skillet when I came in. 120 pounds. And when we, when we get done doing this, I'm going to see if I can help them out a little bit. And uh, this is mission control here. They are so organized. Labor needs sign up. They've got it on computer. There is Starlink here. Um, it's having a little bit of trouble right now, so that's why I'm doing a video instead of a live. Men and women just at work. There have been trucks coming and going the entire time I've been here putting the uh, filtration systems together. I've never seen anything as well organized as this, I'm telling you. So these guys are getting ready to run some supplies out. We're way back in just a dis absolute disaster heavily hit area um, all the way from Burnsville to uh, Pensacola here. The road was very, very sketchy. Um, yeah, I was, I was grateful that we made it. Of course, they have firewood. I understand that they, um, that they eat their eat dinner and kind of hang around the fire a little bit at night and just enjoy the companionship. Gasoline and water. Get out of his way. This is looking back onto everything. One one can of fuel for local residents must have empty can to swap. Burnsville ID required five gallons per ID. They're making sure it goes to the community in which they're serving, which is great. Look at this pantry. This is beautiful. This is such hard work too. God bless you. You are running a tight ship over here. It looks amazing.
Did y'all build the shelves to get no, organized? They, was light. they were like that. This is we amazing. Just came out today. This is my first time oh, is it? Where'd you come from? Maiden. Maiden. North Carolina. God bless you. You came to help out. Yeah, That's awesome. I'm just doing a quick video. How are you? Yeah, I don't want to put you in there unless you want to be in there. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to be very respectful. Just a quick, quick view of the camp. It just requires so much organization. People have thought to donate walkers. That's awesome. Diapers, formula. Beautiful. These were um, these guys were behind me coming in and uh, brought just a whole bunch more supplies. They're from uh, Nevada. People can come in here, I would imagine, and shop for clothes or they can put together outfits to take out. Absolutely awesome. People have donated work boots. Boy, are those going to be needed. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So smart. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, just at the right time, right? Yes. So, oh, yeah. my gosh. Because you, you came from Las Vegas, right? You yeah. were, yeah. Did no, you? I no, live, I live two valleys over. I, my oh. name's Brian. I run the camp. So. Oh, Brian. Okay, yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, Max uh, gave me your name. The oh. mule, uh, mule captain, oh, mule leader. Yeah, yeah, Max is a great guy. Yes. They, they helped us out so much. That's awesome. I brought some water filtration, uh, group water filtration for y'all. That's great. Thank yeah. You so, so much. Yeah. All right. I already talked to Jordan, so I don't have to do that. You, you're doing, yeah, you, you do Jordan you. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, God bless you, Brian. Yeah, God bless you. Awesome sleeping bags and warm weather, uh, warm clothing for the cold, charcoal for all the, the grills so that people can cook and uh, boil water even, but hopefully some people won't have to with the water filtration that we brought. People are donating lumber, which is outstanding, especially with the lumber costs now. More porta potties. The grounds are so clean here. And uh, Max Bishop, the mule team leader, um, he he sent me down this way. He said I would make it on the road. It was a little hairy. You can see that live stream uh, later, or um, the videos that I took. And. Here's where it's getting organized from. I guess it's all going here first and then it goes into the into the tents from here. But what an outpouring of help from, from everybody. And people are so smart. They're marking the boxes really well. If you do donate, um, make sure that you have a contact and let them know. Um, if, yeah. if you don't ha if you haven't talked to a contact about what their needs are I, I would probably hesitate to just show up I, I think that anybody who comes down here needs to have already arranged it it's just to help them keep this flow that they've got going which is beautiful the area is just absolutely gorgeous the destruction is real there are so many um, so many debris slides and um, but the community has just come together and with the help of the entire country it's going to rebuild but it's going to take a long time they've got the laundry and the shower here too El Dorado shower and laundry. Beautiful. I don't want to surprise anybody. <laughs> what is this? Oh, this is their gray water bag, so it comes out from the laundry. Wow. Hey there. Hi. I am live streaming. I have I won't put you on it unless you don't mind. You don't have to. Quick question. Um, yes. Are you doing laundry for people in the community or are they able to come in and do their laundry? They're able to come in and do their own laundry. Oh, that's yes. awesome. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. This whole camp is amazing. GFP. The camp company's named GFP, and um, they have this laundry facility. We have up the street another laundry facility, showers, restrooms. Um, we have a huge camp in um, Burnsville at Yancey School, okay. where they have a fully enclosed tent, where a uh, handicap accessible, where they can roll, they can pull up and roll in. It's how oh, flooring put amazing. down. Amazing. Amazing. At the school in, in Burnsville. Yes. Oh, that's yes. beautiful. We have several locations in Burnsville as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Well, I went to the uh, fire stations yesterday, uh -huh. and then um, I was sent over this way uh, from one of the mule team leaders. Uh -huh. And uh, this this is just the most well-run situation I've ever seen. Yes, yes. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Yeah. I came yeah. from Maryland. I brought water filtration systems for oh, ongoing. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And uh, and I just happen to be a live streamer as well. And all the people in the chat helped me. Um, they helped me. I'm on video right now. But they helped me to um, uh, get all the things that we needed to put the, the whole kit together. Oh, which was amazing. just, yeah. So yeah. people were pulling from all over the country. Yeah, it's great. Just like you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God bless you. Well, I don't want to get in your way, but thank you. Yeah, thank you. appreciate you. You're amazing. So how many of these does your company have? The, um, but it's a big. They're okay. fairly large. They, um, they also do wildland firefighting camps. So they set up camps for the firefighters that are out. Um, Doing the wildfires. Fire. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. So they're, they're fairly large. They have lots oh, my of gosh. What is your um, your uh, web address? Oh, I do GFP. Uh, I'm not sure what their web address is. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. It's on the sign out here, though, is the name, right? Uh, no, the, um, I can look it up for you. Okay. Because I want I want people to be able to look you up. How surreal to look over here and see a Christmas farm, a Christmas tree farm. Right. I'm so glad that they didn't lose their Christmas trees. That's amazing. I got service up here. That's okay. Just driving back here was surreal too, so it's wasn't it? GFP Enterprises. GFP. GF. Enterprises.com, y'all. If you want to look that up, that's and they help the firemen too with the wildfires to be able to wash up, etc. That's a beautiful Absolutely. service. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, you two, safe travels, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Relief team is here. American Red Cross is here. I don't know what that is, but it smells like they're barbecuing something. It's like a hot stove. That's a really awesome setup. So this is a, there's a representative from Red Cross here. We're gonna go back over this way. I think I had the camera zoomed in. That's the pantry. Such a great setup. This is a lot of hot, hot work. Emergency drinking water. from FDEM emergency drinking water. That's interesting. God, I believe you. I can grant me the courage to change the things I can, the serenity to the serenity prayer, to accept the things I cannot change and the wisdom to know the difference 
and God, I believe you can please grant me the courage to not give up and to not give up on what I think is right, even though I think it's maybe hopeless. In your name I pray, our Father who art in heaven. Dot, dot, dot. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Jordan, did you want to say anything before I go off? Okay, that's all right. God bless you and thank you.